Hey guys, it's Jagger Ashley here, and I'm here with my vision board for 2019 and 2020. Um, I'm going to put this in parts because I have to construct my vision board for 2020. Um, so basically, I'm going to show you my vision board for 2019, a lot of my goals that I accomplished, which made me very, very happy. Um, it was the first time, sorry, that I had created a vision board, um, and I was super excited how it turned out, um, and I completed a lot of my goals on it, so I wanted to show you. Um, so here is my vision board. It's the first time I ever did a vision board. It'll be hard to kind of show you everything, so I'll try to. Um, so here was a vision board, and basically I just took photos from my phone and print them at Walmart um, and it's kind of what I did. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take off everything and kind of tell you about it because I'm obviously going to take them off because I need to actually do it for my other, um, my other board. So uh, read more books um, and that one was, I'm going to try to take it off slowly. And I'm getting a call, so I'm going to have to pause this video. I'll be right back. Okay, guys, we're back. Sorry, I had a phone call. Um, so the one, the first one I took off my vision board was read more books, and it had 30 plus. And I read way over that. I read, goodness gracious, hold on. Okay, I read way over 30 plus. I actually read um, 60 my main goal for uh, last year was to read 50 books and I actually upped my goal um, after I hit the 50 uh, was to read 60 and I surpassed it so oh my goodness so yes I read 60 so let's take off the next vision uh, next thing on my vision board okay so the next one to take off my vision board is Uh, go to bed early and I just did this little kid as it says for the first time in many months go to bed early um more or less I did this um for early for me because I'm a night owl um two o'clock is mainly the, the goal I was trying to go for um so basically I did mainly go to bed early most of the times um so I am kind of proud of that because I you know I did accomplish that I did go to bed early most of the times. Um, sorry. One of the ones I didn't accomplish uh, was to be married. Um, that's just a personal preference of mine. Um, not that I don't think marriage is... I think marriage is for... like I don't know. I have been married in the past. Um... I have my thoughts on marriage. Um, I don't think it's for everybody. Uh, would I like to be married? Yes. Um, but right now, just financial reasons and stuff, um, this one's probably not going to be on my board for next year. Just because I don't think... I mean, I did always say, though, if I do get pregnant, I would definitely want to be married. Just for my kids' sake and everything, I would like my child to be married. Like, my child to have parents that are married. Not that anything's wrong if you're not married. I just, for me, I always have wanted that. So if we do get pregnant in 2020, which that's my goal, um, then I would definitely get married. So maybe I'll put that on my board. We'll see. But I do love my fiance a lot. And it's funny because when you tell somebody, like, they say, is that your boyfriend? I said, no, it's my fiance. They automatically go, so when's the wedding? It's like, you can be engaged to somebody for a long time and not decide to get married, you know? It's, it's weird. Um, this one I'm hella excited about. It was drop 20 plus pounds, and I have dropped 20 pounds. Um, I, when I put this on my goal board, I never thought I would ever achieve it. And the fact that I've lost 20 pounds, um, I'm just so ecstatic. I never thought I would ever even lose 10. And the fact that I've lost 20 it's just amazing um and I just I'm so super excited about myself that I've done it 
Um, and I just, I cannot wait to see what the future holds for me for this. So I'm definitely going to add this to my vision board again, because I would like to add, lose another 20 plus pounds. Another one that I'm definitely moving to my vision board. Um, I just have to cross out probably the 2019, uh, is let's get pregnant in 2019. This will be our year. Um, I'll probably just cross up a 2019 and put 2020. Uh, this was just a pregnancy test image I got online. Um, and then I just glued this onto the, like, meme. So I might take the meme off and just use the pregnancy test. I don't know. We'll see. Because since it's not 2019 or just uh, take 2019 off. I don't know. We'll see. But this is definitely my goal in life is to be a mom. And I'm working my butt off to be a mom so much of doing the weight loss and trying to eat better because my heart is so empty right now for not being a mom and I've tried to fill it so much with food and materialistic stuff and it's never going to be filled unless I become a mom and I want to be a mom so so bad and if you are my friends and my family you all know that I want to be a mom more than anything so yeah that's definitely going on my goal board for next year I don't even really consider it like goals like, uh, I mean, a vision. I consider it goals because I just like it. This is my first time ever doing one, and I'm glad that I accomplished a lot of it. So the next one was no spending week. Have a no spend week. Um, This I need to work on because I – saving money this year is something I really want to do um, because I spend a lot. Um, And the treat yourself, I treat myself a lot. Um, and I really want to save money. Um, I really do. I want my, me and my fiance to save a lot of money this year. Um, I have a lot of trips planned for Vanessa and me. Um, and I would like to go on those trips. I mean, she goes on a lot of trips and she can financially afford those trips. And I have been asked to go on some of those trips and I would like to actually go on some of those trips. Um, but I have to financially pay for those trips. <laughs> um, and I'd like to, and you know, in September, when my girl Lori turns 50, uh, me and Vanessa are going down there to see her on her birthday. Um, and I gotta save money for that. So saving money is a good thing. And definitely be bringing that onto my board. So on to saving money. I'm definitely bringing this one on, which is my save. That's definitely going on there because I didn't do that last year. And another one, which is how to budget when you're when you suck at budgeting you need to learn to budget i always write down my bills but i always overspend when i go to walmart or something if i see something cute i buy it so i need to stop buying like when i buy the books like this month i was really good i only bought i think three books or four books so it's really good this month even though with my, my birthday i didn't treat myself too much so i'm really proud of that um and it said this one's really important to me it's safe for me to have money left over at the end of the month because I never have money left over at the end of the month. We're always struggling. I always never have money left over at the end of the month. I'm on a very fixed income and I never have money at the end of the month. So this means a lot to me and I want to have money at the end of the month. If something goes on sale, if there's a book on sale, if there's a Kindle book for $1.99, I want to be able to have that $1.99, you know? So this means a lot. So I definitely want to bring that on to my next vision board. Uh, one we will not be bringing on to the next vision board, um, is Weight Watchers. We will not be bringing it on to the next vision board. And Weight Watchers every Friday, we will not be bringing that on to the next vision board. Y'all know why. If you watch my videos, y'all know why. Um, and then plan every week. Um, I did do that last year. I planned a lot. You saw a lot of plan with me, and then I just stopped doing plan with me because I just wanted to plan by myself. Because for me, it's more relaxing and to filming. It's just it's overwhelming to try to film it and get it. So I just like to plan by myself. Um, so I did like to plan. So this would go with me, but it says 2019. So maybe I'll just like draw one. But I did like to plan with me, and I do have um, my Harry Potter planner that I'm gonna plan in. Uh, this I want to definitely bring over with me which is my 5,000 steps every day. 5,000 steps is a lot, especially when you're in a house. Like I don't know if I have like a makeshift Fitbit 
and it's not really the real one like i want to get one of the fitbits i think it's the fitbit versa i want to get that one i think it's like 120 though or something because this one i feel like does not accurately count my steps um hi andrea she's messaged me uh like i'm at 1392 steps today and like i walked a ton around my house yesterday uh, one day when i was cleaning it like and i would deep clean my whole house and I only made like 3,000 steps. And I like walked all around my house, took out the trash, did everything. And I still never made 5,000 steps. So I don't know if this is inaccurate. I don't know. Maybe I actually need to get a Fitbit. I don't know. Um, but yeah, so that's, I definitely want to do the 5,000 steps every day. So definitely need to start doing that. One thing I definitely need to do is your girl needs to track every day and 30 days no soda. Um, I'm going to be doing keto again because that helped me out. That helped me jumpstart my weight loss. Um, I may not do 30 days keto, but I, I'm, I'm going to try to do 30 days keto, but we'll see. It's very hard when you're with somebody who doesn't do keto. So to try to like balance meals together, it's just, it's a pain. Um, but I'm going to try to do not strict keto because I'm going to have some wraps and some stuff. But um, so I might do like the lazy keto, dirty keto. I don't, I don't know. Um, but that helped jumpstart my weight loss a lot. So I am going to track every day on the carb manager and 30 days no soda because I've been drinking a lot of like the sugar-free soda or the um, Coca-Cola Zero or something. But I want to do like no soda. Like I want soda out of my body completely for 30 days. So definitely going to do that because I was doing good for that for last year. I did good for that and then I just stopped. And one thing I want to do is uh, clean the house. Keep the house clean every day. This was on my board last year. I am one that I clean my house every sat uh, every Saturday, every Sunday. We kind of fell behind on that. Um, hold on one second. I swear, when you send your fiance out to do a little bit of grocery shopping, then you gotta like text him constantly because he doesn't know where stuff is. Okay. So cleaning house, I used to clean my house every Sunday, deep cleaning it, but then we kind of fell behind. So not like it's a mess or anything, but we need to just get back on track. And one thing I want to do is every day I want to clean a room, like every like one room every day for like 10 minutes. I just take a room, like living room, 10 minutes, clean it. Kitchen, like the next day, 10 minutes, clean it. That way the house stays nice and clean and dust free. So that's one thing I'm bringing on to my vision board for next year, well this year technically. Another one was getting up early. It says, and I showed this little guy for getting up early. I've done this last year. I did very good. I got up every time at 10 o'clock, no matter what time I went to bed. If I went to bed at 4 o'clock, 2 o'clock, 5 o'clock, whatever, your girl was up at 10. And this helped me out a lot getting up early. So I'm gonna, definitely going to bring this on to the next vision board. This means a lot to me and my fiance. Um because we are in two separate rooms most of the time. I'm in my book room, he's in the living room because that's where we, where we game or I read in my book room. So movie night, I want to start, and I kind of failed this last year, so I want to bring it back, uh, movie night. I want to watch movies with him every night, one night a week, I mean, not one night, a, a movie every, every night, maybe not be a movie, maybe it'll be like a show on Netflix because we love The Flash, but I want to watch something every night. Probably most likely when we eat dinner. Uh, just because it just it's something that brings us closer and we have Netflix we have Hulu you know I have Amazon Prime videos like we, we have the means we might as well spend the time together because that's what brings us closer so definitely want to bring that into my vision board for this year one thing I'm not bringing to, on to my vision board next year this year I can say next year wow um is going to BookCon I was going to go to BookCon with Vanessa this year um, but I watched a booktuber talk about how, what people think BookCon is and what it, what it really is. And she talked about how it is very crazy. You don't get a lot of arcs. It's a lot of waiting in line, like three hours, a lot of crowds. Now I have agoraphobia. So right, right out of the bat, this is not good for me. Um, and it's a lot of money just to get down there. So I'd rather spend the $300 to get to BookCon and hotels and stuff and just go and have a good time with Vanessa in, in New York City and see like Beetlejuice on Broadway and shop 
or go see Lori for her birthday than go to BookCon. So that's not going to be for there. Another one that I had not done 100% is review books. I definitely want to do that more on my channel. Um, I got a special journal for that. So I want to review books. I want to do review it Sunday again like I was doing back in the day. I want to do that for you guys because I love to review books. I want to do, be better at it for you guys. I want to get a laptop so I can like actually type the reviews out because doing the reviews on my phone is very difficult. So I want to do more reviews for you guys because I was not doing the greatest reviews before. Um, another one I want to do, um, so if you guys don't see me or don't, or don't hear from me an hour a day, it's because I put my phone down because I believe everybody should put their phone down at least one hour a day and just disconnect one hour a day, read a book, just relax, spend time with your loved ones, watch YouTube, watch a, a, a movie, just disconnect for one hour a day. So that's one thing I want to do because I did not do it last year. So I just want to just disconnect one hour a day. I might, I might let my close friends know, hey guys, I'm going off the grid for one hour, just so that way I have some peace of mind. So I want to do that more. We got two more left, guys. Um, this might not happen. I might bring this into 2021. Uh, and that's going to the Wizarding World of Harry Potter um, and Disney. Uh, me and Vanessa had planned to go in October, um, but because... Lori is my bestie and she means the world to me. Um, going to see her for her birthday, her 50th birthday, means so much more to me than going to Disney World because um, I can't do both. So she, she means more to me than going to Disney. So I am going to put this on my board, but if I don't save the money for it, then it's okay. I will just go next year. Um, but yeah, going to see Lori is a lot more, is better than going to Disney and I didn't even think of that I should have put that on my board too so I have to just draw it in and then the last thing that is really important to me and means so much to me is YouTube sorry hitting 400 subscribers on YouTube and I actually did it I am at 441 last time I checked I haven't checked recently so I might have uh, lost some but my goal this year is to get to 500. I think we can do it, especially if I up the channel quality and do the reviews and stuff. I know we can get to 500. This means a lot to me. My YouTube channel means so much more. Um, I don't make any money off YouTube. Um, it's just, it's a place where I can do videos. And when I have children, they can see me and see what their mom used to do for fun. And it just, it's, I met so many friends off here and it's just something I love to do. So getting 500 subscribers on YouTube would just mean so much to me. So that is everything for my vision board for last year, for my goals. Basically all I'm gonna do is just take this old one, flip it over, and you're gonna see the new one when I get done with it. So I'm gonna go work on that, and then I'll be back to show you my 2020 vision board. All right guys, like I would say, make clothes and home crafts and we speak to each other. Mwah. Bye guys. Okay guys, so basically I finished my vision board. This is what it looks like. Um, so I will we'll zoom in and show you guys. Well, I can't zoom in, but I'll just show you guys what I did and explain everything real quick. Read more books. I want to read 80 plus, well not 80 plus, but 80 books. Get up, uh, go to bed early. Yeah, go to bed early early um yeah go barely uh track every day 30 days no soda uh drop 20 plus pounds no takeout i want to start running get pregnant in 2020 i want to stay strong and never give up hopefully get my tattoo with vanessa want to go back on keto want to save money want to start journaling every day get up early uh, what else i got Weigh in every Friday, 500 steps, uh, review books, put my phone down one hour a day, uh, do my fast every day, uh, save money, get 500 um, subscribers on YouTube, clean my house, and do 10 minutes per day per room, movie night every night, work out every day, and stay hydrated. So that's what my goals for 2020 look like. Hope to see you guys' um, boards. Bye, guys.